Hello everybody, Wolfpack345 here, and welcome to episode number four of our Cold Water series and the Skipjack Summary. And I think we have encountered our invasion fleet, which we were sent to hunt during the last episode. Um, let's try to identify these. Okay, a potty. Let's just click through all of these. I'm sure there's quite a few potties. And really just rather get this straight out of the way. Okay, not. Let's look for LSTs, merchant ships. What the heck? Con sonar, new contact no. bearing. Zero, oh my gosh, nine, there's a lot of stuff zero, out here. Sierra, merchant? Con sonar, Sierra 6 is classified as merchant. Another merchant? Con sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as merchant. Um, this could very well be a destroyer. A cruiser. Con sonar, Sierra One is classified as capital ship. That would be quite the price. Cash and Con sonar, Sierra Eight is classified as escort. Okay, it looks like we have two merchants and one cruiser. If I take out the cruiser, that would be very nice. I could try to get in a Con position sonar, to launch my Sierra Mark Sixteen. Is classified as merchant. two trawlers. Another something here. Um, merchant ship. Con sonar, Sierra 7 is classified as merchant. Okay, let's hop up the periscope depth and change course slightly. Come right to one, five, four, helm I. So I guess my, my three targets right now are these two merchant ships and the Serladov, Serladov, whatever. Oh, I'm butchering that. Let's see what this is. 16,000 tonner. I'm not even, I can't even think of how to pronounce that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm a disaster sometimes. All right, let's go ahead and try to maneuver into position. 16,000 tons though, that is definitely, uh, mm, that is, that is something right there, Gone. folks. Helm. Steady course. Okay, let's rig, rig for ultra, ultra quiet. quiet. I guess that, uh, that task force we encountered previously was really just sent to clear the way. All right, we're at 45 feet. Scope up. Let's take a look at this merchant first and foremost. I want to see if they're actually Russian. I, I do believe this is our... Oh, it's Norwegian. Well, good thing I didn't shoot at it. Hmm. It looks like that cruiser is... Definitely going to be our target in that case. Uh, that. Mark. That's a Russian ship. Con sonar master three is classified as merchant. Perfect. Uh, this Norwegian ship's just sailing right through a uh, Soviet task force here. Aren't they? <laughs> Isn't this task force bound for Norway? Yeah, it is. Ram them. Do your duty. Okay, I guess we're picking up this thing. Do we have this? Con sonar master nine is classified as escort. Let's just mark all of this. Hmm. 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 Okay. These two are targets. Yeah, this is what I'm going to take out. Hopefully we can maneuver close enough to actually do that. Alright. Uh, scope down. Let's see. Still have trouble hearing me. Which is fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and close the gap. I want to try to get as close as possible. Give them as little time to react. And they're turning straight for me. Let's go ahead and turn towards them as well. Hopefully I can place myself. If only I had stern tubes. <laughs> I'm going to place myself between these two. I am worried about this warship, however. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Zero, nine, one, She's slowing eight, down. Zero, one, zero. Okay. In that case, let's drop down. 
make my depth 250 feet, put us below the Slayer. Hopefully that will mask us enough from the Destroyer. Let's turn toward it. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's... Regained contact on Master 4, bearing 3, 4, 8. I might have to sink this destroyer. Uh, she's turning around. They're all turning around. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Make up your mind. Con sonar regained contact on Master 9, bearing 1, 1, 6. Okay. Is this 100% accurate? Yeah, Master it is, five, unfortunately. Last bearing zero, two, six. Contact is in the baffles. Let's head straight Con for them. Sonar lost contact. I... Four. Last bearing three, three, four. Contact is in the baffles. The problem is Con we only have these Mark 37s. On. Master four, bearing three, three, two. Con sonar lost contact. Master nine, last bearing one. Two, eight, contact faded. This vessel right here is my primary worry. We are managing to get pretty close, however. I'm just watching that active. She's con sonar. Sierra one zero is classified as Let's reduce merchant. our profile. She's gonna go right over the top. Oh, which I do not like. Which I do not like. Not one bit. Okay, let's turn directly towards her and reduce our profile. Hopefully this will be enough to save us. If not, let's prepare a Mark 37. So immediately launch. The first sign of trouble, she's gonna hear us. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about it. We're gonna have to fight. Con sonar regained contact on master four, bearing three, two. I'll stop. Turns four. Uh, there's no use of... Turns four, five knots, maneuvering eye. Uh, question is, should I fire now? Or... Should I fire first? Yeah, I'm going to fire first. Regained contact on master Be free, a little Mark 37. Two, seven. Okay, go ahead and go smart. And get this boat moving. 15 knots. Get the hell out of here. All ahead flank. Con sonar. We are cavitating. Okay. Con fire control. We've lost the wire. Fuck. Con sonar lost contact. Master four. Come on, little torpedo. It's heading straight for the target. I am hopeful. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you know what? Since we're being loud, let's drop down to 700 feet and maneuver towards our targets. Our torpedo is tracking. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, drop down to... No, continue to head flank. These RBUs are heading towards me. Okay, maintain this depth. Don't go any deeper. Don't want to risk getting crushed. Con sonar lost contact. Master eight. Last bearing zero four three. Contact is in the baffles. Okay, let's turn towards our targets, the merchant Passing vessel feet. and the Con cruiser. Sonar regained contact on Master eight bearing zero three. Zero. I wonder how our Mark thirty seven is doing. Let's go ahead and begin reloading. Might as well. More RBUs inbound. Don't see splashes. Maybe they're in the wrong postal code. Find out. Oh, they're in front of us. Maneuvering, making turns for three zero knots. Con knuckle formed. Perfect. Con sonar lost contact. Master eight. Last bearing three, four, five. Contact is in the baffles. This thing is heading 28 knots, so we are catching up to it. What is Con, directly above me? Con, sonar, regain Cashin. contact on Master 8, bearing 338. 
con sonar lost contact. Just launching more RBUs. Last bearing three, three, four. Contact is in the baffles. I'll try to get in the captain's con baffles. Regained contact on master eight bearing three, three. This three. is a merchant ship. Con They're getting quite the show. <laughs> Guess there's that. I need to head towards our targets. I don't want to. Con sonar lost contact. Master eight. Last bearing three, four, three. Contact this merchant ship's only battle. going sixteen knots. Con sonar lost contact. Master seven. Last bearing three, two. Zero. All right, well, I'll, the I'll target the merchant ships since they are slower. Hopefully, I'll be able to take them out. God, knuckle formed. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, that was so fucking close. Uh, <laughs> okay, more escorts are joining the fight. Oh, we have range on this merchant ship to go ahead and launch now. Passing 1,000 feet. Oh, hell no. Come up, come up, come up. Con, torpedo room, two, yeah, three, flooding. Damage control party. I guess we were hit. Con, knuckle formed. Damage control party. Lay to the engine. Damage control party. Need the reactor space. Yeah. Wow. I didn't realize... Did they say we were damaged? Passing 700 feet. Uh. Con sonar passing 600 feet. I mean, I don't have a a boo boo. That's interesting. I don't know what's going on there. Well, that's fine. Okay, reduce speed. We're gonna fire. No longer cavitating. I'm gonna fire at the party. The merchant. Counter Con this flooding lost the ballast. Master seven, last bearing three, three, five. Contact is okay, the enemy frigate is already turning away. What's our current depth? Are we still dropping? Yes, we are. More ballast, please. Oh, something's. We got him. All right. A torpedo's heading towards him. Are we still dropping? No, we're maintaining depth more or less. Let's trim up. Even more. Okay, this is okay. I wish this flooding would go away. Maybe. Is it. I mean, nothing's damaged. That's interesting. I guess that uh, RBU got close enough to cause some some issues. So uh, once this torpedo gets close enough, I'll cut it free and then launch another torpedo at the merchant ship. I guess my uh, mission now is to inflict as much damage as possible. I'm not going to be able to catch the cruiser, unfortunately. She's booking it away at 32 knots. Wow, that is... That's beautiful. I would love to sink you. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, six, eight. Okay, it's getting close. Let's change Come course. Left two, one, eight, six, helm, I... Just continue to direct the torpedo towards the vessel. Keep it busy. Con sonar regained contact on master nine bearing. So torpedo zero, eight, swimming around zero. over here. Con fire control oh, weapon it's acquired. acquired. Con, Please hit it. Fire control weapon countermeasure homing. How fantastic Con, would that be? Control, weapon countermeasure homing. Con fire control weapon Con sonar noise maker. Oh uh, no. Two. Con helm 
steady course. Gun, fire control, weapon acquired. Let's see if it'll hit it. The problem is, it's just so slow. <laughs> Oh. I think uh, it's just going to chase it around until it actually... <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and cut that torpedo. Begin reloading another one and launch another Shoot torpedo at the merchant. Gone. Fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. The torpedo still... <laughs> That's funny. That's fantastic. Alright, let's hit the merchant ship. Uh, once this cruiser slows down maybe I don't know it's still accelerating I don't think we're gonna be able to take it out passing 500 feet con sonar noisemaker bearing two nine six oh we got it beautiful we're causing damage hopefully if we sink all their escorts that'll be enough to deter the rest of the uh, task force to go ahead and get out of here because we've sunk three out of the Three out of the five, well, we will. I have no reason to believe that we won't be able to sink this merchant ship. Make turns for one, five knots, maneuvering eye. Oh no, I think I lost the wire in that torpedo, I don't know. Launch transient from Sierra to Sierra 2? Where the heck is that? I have no idea where Sierra 2 is. I'm about to find out. I only see... I don't see a torpedo in the water. All I see is the hulks of those other escorts. Interesting. I think there's a submerged contact somewhere here. Out here. Let's slow down. Make One ping. Four, five knots. Maneuvering eye. Con sonar new contact. Uh -huh. two, there it five, is. Six. Designated Sierra. One. One. This has to be a sub. Golf. Maybe. Foxtrot. Con maneuvering. Making turns for. Five, to Romeo. Okay, let's turn towards it. Con sonar lost contact. Passing 200 feet. Passing 300 feet. <sighs> and this freaking flooding. Maybe if I. Damage control parties. Lay to the Is it my pumps? What's going on? I don't understand that. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra one one. Passing four hundred feet. Con sonar regained contact on Master seven bearing zero. Make turns for one five knots maneuvering eye. Con. Con passing six hundred feet. I just need to be sure I don't, my boat doesn't drop too much and I get crushed. Uh, this torpedo's homed on, locked onto me, I think. Con, sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water. Bearing, two, four, zero. All right, let's get close enough to this Romeo and sink it. Drop a decoy. Okay, it's already breaking off. Perfect. I will say Con, this sonar, for the 1968 combat. campaign. Master. The Last torpedoes for everybody zero, are a lot four, less uh, seven, persistent. Con sonar passing 600 feet. Okay, let's Con go sonar, active. Let's to find active this search. guy. There he is, dead, af dead ahead. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra one one. A torpedo went hot right out the gates. Con sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing two, five, one. Con knuckle formed. All right, slow down. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Con knuckle formed. Passing 400 feet. Shoot to four. 
Aye, sir. Con sonar regained contact on master one bearing one one nine. Con sonar. Con maneuvering, making turns for one. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Passing 500 feet. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Con fire control, we've lost the wire. Shit, that's not good. Passing 600 feet. <sighs> this flooding. Con sonar lost contact. Master one. Last bearing one one eight. Damage control arc. Need of the reactor space. Con sonar lost. Let's get out of here. Master three. Last bearing one seven one. Contact is in the baffles. Looks like uh, the Russian torpedo is homing in on the Romeo, which is perfect. Sonar lost contact. Oh, beautiful. One, one, last bearing, zero, seven, eight, contact is in the baffle. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, zero, seven, You ignorant eight. fool, you killed us all. He's dead. Oh no, <laughs> it broke off. Noisemaker worked. Looks like both torpedoes are messing with the Romeo. That's perfect. She'll go down eventually. I have faith. Let's change course and head back down towards our merchant friend. Wow, this has been pretty intense, I gotta say. It looks like three, no, only two torpedoes are tangoing with the Romeo. Alright, let's see, are we dropping? We sure are full ballast. Is that gonna help us blunt this? Okay, we'll get some, uh... Upward momentum with our planes as well. Okay, we're coming zero, up. Four, eight. Well, two. Con there we go. She's done. Sierra, one, one, last bearing, zero, four, six. Contact breaking up. Passing six hundred feet. I can't click on her for some reason. Oh. There she is down there. Took two torpedoes. Passing 500 feet. Okay, now we have we are cavitating. three enemies left. Let's drop down in speed. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Let's drop down and take a listen, see Eight, what's going nine, on. Four, five knots, maneuvering eye. Absolute madness. <laughs> this has been crazy. Okay, let's turn. There's some pretty loud pinging near me, which is most concerning. Con sonar regained contact on master three, passing 300 feet. You know what? And I think I will be able to cut these off. Con sonar regained contact on master one, bearing one, one, four. Con sonar re Con maneuvering, making turns, passing 200 feet. Con sonar. Oh, I didn't realize I was search. using active. Con torpedo room two passing one hundred feet. Oh no, we might broach. Unintentional. Oh, my flooding's fixed. Okay, get under quickly. I didn't even realize they were able to fix that. Well, get under before I get shot, please, please, please. All ahead, standard. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Okay, I don't care. Oh god, that's not good. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. I'm glad our flooding is fixed. Guess it was the ballast that I needed to repair. Okay, maintain periscope depth. Make depth four, five, eight, dive by. Downscope. All torpedoes are reloaded. Things are looking up for the USS Shark right now. Come on, periscope depth, please. There we go. Okay, something's heading straight for Upscope. me. Upscope. Let's take a look. It's a destroyer. Mark. It's a catch in. It's Master 9. I'm contemplating shooting another torpedo. What's our torpedo situation? We have four left, all in the tubes. I think I may wait for her to get a little bit closer. 
In the meantime, let's head towards the merchant ship. Down, down scope. scope. Let's drop down below the layer as well. Change Helm course right there, two, drop down six, to 300 one. feet. Where we will increase speed. The merchant's heading 16 knots. There's only so far she can go. They might be heading towards the fjords here to try to conceal themselves from me. Well, let me tell you, it's not going to work. <laughs> if anything, that's perfect. They're going to have to turn or something eventually, and I'll be able to catch them. And if I have to Con, Helm, sink this cash in in the process, I will do it. I would like to remain undetected by her, though. Con, dive at three, zero, zero, she doesn't eight, hear me dive, currently. Nine. Okay, let's bump up to Make ten nine, knots. Four, one. Zero, not Put some distance between us. She can hear me on active. Apparently, let's drop down to 400 feet. Make depth four, zero, zero Check dive damage dive. control. Make sure I'm not flooding. Dive at four, zero, zero dive by. Perfect. Oh yes, this is good. Okay, let's bump up to 15 knots. Turns for one, five knots. I can even bump up to 20 momentarily. Oh, she can hear me though. Let's drop down to 10. Turns for one, zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Let's go down to 600 feet. Make depth six, zero, zero. I'll just maintain Make our 15 knots. One, five knots. Look at that, just a trail of destruction. <laughs> I gotta say, I am I am quite pleased with the results thus far, and it looks like we're not done with our rampage. I do suspect we will be able to sink this merchant. Uh, the cruiser, that's a different story. I'm gonna try to. Okay, we're just gonna book it over there. This is awesome. I do really like the 1968 campaign. It's an interesting change of pace, I will say that. Uh, dodging RBUs is kind of exciting. And the torpedoes, as bad as they are, they're quite fun to use. You have to plan your attacks a little bit more. I have to get used, at, used to shooting at such close ranges, like very close to ensure success. I think we were lucky in the last episode when we were able to sink the cruiser with that spread. Um, ideally, you'd want to be closer than that, even. Okay, I think... Let's slow down and take a listen. There she is. I wish you could mark on the map where their positions are. She's making a... Let's go flank. 30 knots. I want to try to catch her before we get into the shallow water. The shallow water is going to be an issue. Con maneuvering, making turns for three, zero, I think if I sink the merchant ship, this will be a successful mission. Uh, even if the cruiser gets away. The cruiser is really just the cherry on top. But I think sinking four out of six vessels would be good. Okay, let's drop down speed. Make take another turn. listen. Five, not oh my, she's up. close. Perfect. Let's come up to periscope. Four, five, not. Come up to periscope depth, please. Four, five, eight, die, bye. Take a look. I think I should be able to launch a Mark 37 here. I want to take a look at what is pinging me back here, however. Okay, let's turn down the time compression. Hey, we are currently at periscope depth. Upscope. Upscope. Oh, I want to see what is behind me. Sonar. Master three is classified as the heck. I did not mean to click that. I'll have to re-identify that. There's the merchant. Get right on it, Mark. It's not a Romeo, though. Con sonar master. There we go. Is classified as merchant. Let's see. Do we have visual on anything else? 
I may go active to try to find that cruiser. Because I am certainly the hunter now. Con, dive at four, five, eight, dive mm. Oh! Oh, it's the merchant ship. Alright. Well, I think my best bet... Since this thing doesn't have sensors, maybe I could try to shoot it with uh, a <laughs> Mark 16. It's out of range, though. Yeah, we're gonna have to try to get closer. Okay, yeah, sure. down scope. I might do some cutting here because this this chase is awfully long. Make depth five, zero, zero. Well, I've gotten pretty close to our enemy, and I think it's time to fire here. She is turning quite hard. I'm gonna wait for her to complete this turn, maybe, before I take my shot. Uh, She's so zigzagging. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and try to launch a Mark 16 at her. There two, we go. Two, one. I serve. Hopefully, uh, this results in a hit. We'll find out. It looks like it's going to be a good one. I was debating using a Mark 37, but this seems like a good chance. Here we go. This is definitely going to hit right in the butt. In the stern. There we go. <laughs> awesome. That is what I was looking for. And look how close we are. And look how shallow it is here. I will admit... I was going flank to catch up to her before it got too shallow, but I think we're well outside of the detection range of the enemy destroyer. Our last known update of the cruiser was here, and it was following the general course of this merchant vessel. I'm going to search the coast here in an attempt to find the cruiser and eliminate it. We'll see if I'll be able to hunt it down, though. It's another merchant ship going down. That brings our tally up to four vessels sunk. Let's go ahead. No We're completely out of torpedoes, so this is all we have left available. And catching the cruiser with these Mark 37s would be uh, interesting, to say the least. I have a feeling maybe the cruiser ran in here to hide from us or something, but uh, I do think this amphibious landing is a bust now. There's no way they'd be able to support it at this point. Anyway, I do want to find this cruiser, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to find it. So, I'll cut now and get back to you guys when either I've found it or I've been searching for a pretty long time and have nothing to show for it. Okay, the enemy destroyer has is still hunting us, it seems. She's heading straight for me at a speed of 15 knots. She currently can't hear us, which is good. So I'm gonna plan, I'm planning on taking this one out. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to relocate that cruiser afterward. If we take this out, I do think the mission will be a success. Although the cruiser would have been a nice prize. Okay, I think I'm going to fire now. She's well within range. For some reason, she's having trouble picking us up. I'm going to shoot two Mark 37 torpedoes at her. Hopefully that's enough to take her out. All right, two, one. Maybe I should just shoot one. Shoot two, four. Because we I only heard. have one wire. All right, so just one torpedo away. And down, down scope. scope. Con sonar regained contact on master nine bearing. Two, we'll raise our eight, scope whenever six. we need the wire guide the torpedo towards the target. We want this torpedo. We launched that periscope depth, so this should be rather interesting. Okay, let's check up scope, up scope real fast. Let's take a look. Mark. Okay, she's close. Still can't hear me just yet. Down, Down scope. scope. Hopefully the warhead on the Mark 37 will be enough to at least just completely cripple this ship. Hmm. Okay, I think we're getting pretty close to the time where we want our torpedo to go hot. Well, let's we'll let it keep swimming. Keep on swimming. This is I feel like this is going to be a pretty long episode. All right, go smart. Got it. 
Looks like the speed, 20 knots, she's accelerating. Let's see if we can get her. If anything, this will uh, drive her away from us. Okay, use time compression since this thing's so goddamn slow. Uh, up Let's scope go. so we can get some good information here. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing. There we go, torpedo has acquired the target. The target speed is 26 knots now, however. So I'm gonna have to, we'll see if this ship will slip up. She is turning. I think the turns generally uh, cause more help than good. Okay, torpedo. Oh, this is beautiful. I think we got her. Reacquired. Looks like the torpedo is going to follow the merchant ship around for a while. It's gaining on her. We'll see. That pinging noise is <laughs> kind of annoying, so I'm going to let them figure that out. We'll see if we get a hit here. Maybe I should launch another one. That'd be funny. Yeah, let's go ahead and launch another. Gone fire control, we've lost the wire. And let it run towards that area. It should pick him up. <laughs> now she has two on her. Gone fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Maybe I can try to get close enough to use a Mark 16 here. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Yeah, they're both following her around. Well, this is certainly interesting. I think now is just the perfect time to really disengage. Con, oh my lost contact. gosh, that hit her. Nine, That's kind of what two, I was hoping two, with with the five, two torpedoes. She would slip up and one of them would uh, yeah, be able to hit her. Feet. Are we... Oh my gosh, we're flooding again. And there's the next hit. There we go. All right. Now, now we just have the cruiser left. I'm gonna search for it. I would love to take it out. I think my best bet. Come on, you. Freaking boat. Come on. We're gonna settle. Blow ballast. Well, anyway, that, that's the uh, we have one Russian vessel left, and I want to hunt for it. I think it would be nice to actually finish her off. We'll see, though. But anyway, I think this is going to be another one where I have to cut and search for. I do plan on raising our radar mast. Hopefully, we can get this flooding under control. Ah, uh, there we go. It's another destroyer settling on the bottom. Wow. What a rampage. <laughs> I was not expecting us to do this, but I do want to look for the cruiser. I'm going to look over here. And if she's not here, then we'll just completely disengage. We have flooding, so we have to fix that before we escape anyway. Well, I've been trying to recover this flooding, and it doesn't seem like uh, that's happening at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and blow ballast. I think that's the only option I have here. The ship. Hopefully that can get us off the seabed here. See, are we raising? Oh, what the heck? There we go. Jostled loose. All ahead of 20 knots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this boat up. I'm worried about this flooding. I think now it's time to disengage. Oh, we're going to rock it up. Yeah, we definitely need to go home, get some repairs done here. Con, charging high pressure air banks after emergency. Unable to dive. All right, well, emergency surface here. We maneuvering, making turns for two zero knots. Okay, let's go ahead and okay. The flooding is now getting under control. We were too deep to really pump out the water. 
Let's go ahead and raise our radar mast. Raise the radar mast. Let's see if we can pick up this uh, cruiser on radar. Let's raise everything. Raise the ESM mast. I don't think we're going to be able to pick up anything. We're picking something on ESM, right? Uh, it's very possible we're just Lower picking up ESM our own mast. radar. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Conch, high pressure airbanks charge complete. Ready to dive. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and disengage here. We need to head home and leave combat. It's very unfortunate. We sunk everything but the cruiser. It's unfortunate that the cruiser was able to uh, escape, but that's still a pretty <laughs> devastating blow to the Soviet Union. Great job. Please adhere that the expected invasion of Narvik, Norway, has been repelled. Stand by for additional orders. Well, I need to head home. The Secretary of the Navy expresses his heartfelt congratulations and takes great pleasure in awarding the Bronze Star Medal to Commander Wolfpack, Commanding Officer of the USS Shark. Commander Wolfpack is cited for extraordinary heroism in action against the enemies of the United States of America. On 7th January 1969, his unwavering resolve and self-sacrificing devotion to duty in the face of death are worthy of the highest emulation. Norway defended. Narvik, Norway, a massive coordinated sea-based landing has been repelled. A NATO spokesman says that a combination of hard fighting by defending troops and prior significant weakening of the invasion force by NATO naval units contributed to the averting disaster and defeat. According to analysts, the ability of NATO to contain the enemy and prevent opening of new fronts will be a major factor in the outcome of the war. Keeping the front line focused rather than spread out across multiple territories will ensure success. All right. Oh, and they give us a time, the mission to return to Holly Lock, Scotland for repairs and to replenish stores. All right, let's get the hell out of here. All ahead full. Let's make for Holly Lock. This is going to be a slightly longer episode, I anticipate, but we'll go ahead and head to Holly Lock and rearm our boat and repair this bloody flooding issue. Uh, quite frustrating. And what do we got going on here? The West takes back the Netherlands, and I guess there's supposed to be a splash screen here. I think my game's a little bugged out. Uh, a NATO spokesman has revealed that a sudden amphibious landing in the Netherlands facilitated the flanking and defeat of the remaining Soviet-held positions this week. The Soviet Army Daily Newspaper uh, yada, announced that replacement of the operational leadership due to this factor, this fact, this satisfactory performance within the 38th Army insignia on the fallen Soviet soldiers suggests that several battalions of the army is engaged in the fighting around Amsterdam. The replacement is assumed to serve as a stern warning to other Soviet field commanders not to retreat or surrender. No decisive initiative can, for the moment, be said to be held by either side. Naval forces in the Atlantic strive for control in what appears to be a constant black back and forth swinging battle between surface and airborne and submerged units. Alright. Well, that's fun. Down we go. USS Shark, Days at War, 10 missions accomplished, 3. Uh, we've sunk 2 capital ships, 4 other warships, 2 submarines, and 1 merchant ship for a total of 9 vessels sunk. Alright, let's continue on. And uh, intelligence data indicates that enemy plans an amphibious landing at Reykjavik and Kieflin, Iceland again. <laughs> Task force with landing ships is uh, leaving arch angles now. You must intercept and destroy this force. Okay, let's go ahead and rearm and repair. Let's load quite a few Mark 16s. And we'll load quite a few Mark 37s. I'll load. Hmm. Yeah, let's have eight Mark 37s, and the rest will be Mark 16s. That just seems like a pretty good loadout. Uh, let's load the majority of our Mark 16s in the tubes now. All right. Well, that is going to. Uh, be all for this here episode thank you all for watching as always as we try to repel another landing force up here should be interesting anyway this is wolfpack345 signing off and i'll see you guys on the next one